Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about the myth and reality of odometer rollbacking. Now one myth today is, oh you don't have to worry when you buy a used car these days because the odometers are all electronic and you can't roll them back like you used to in the old days. Because yes in the old days, this is an old one, had a speedometer cable in it, you could put a drill in there, you could run the drill backwards and set the odometer back, it's mechanical. And guys who had less time on their hand, they would just take this apart, they get toothpicks and they'd play with the numbers on the odometer to make it have a different rating on it. In the 80s in the United States, they made laws that it won't run backwards, so if you backed up, it would not take mileage off. So you couldn't do that anymore. For example, this Matrix is in 2007 has an electronic speedometer and odometer. Now, sure, just looking at it superficially, the 07 Matrix kind of looks the same on a speedometer as the 07 Matrix does. The 07 Matrix may look like this. This is off a 92 Toyota. And as I said before, it's got a cable drive, right? The speedometer looks the same, but that's just to fool you. Because it turns out Americans, they like the look of an analog speedometer. They had tried with the digital ones, it would say zero, one mile an hour, two mile an hour, people couldn't stand it. They go 55, 54, 56, it annoyed people. So what they did was, they make a digital one look like an analog. Instead of having a cable that spins this, on the transmission, of all modern cars, there's a speed sensor. That picks up the speed of the transmission. It sends a digital signal to the dash, where in most cars, there is a stopper motor inside. It's an electric motor. And that's what moves your speed and counts for the odometer, so you can see how many miles on it, what speed you're going. Digital system that switched to analog where you look at, it, although the reading on most of the cars is still digital. You can see on the Matrix, the speedometer looks like it's analog, but it's actually digital, but you can certainly see. The mileage reading on the odometer is definitely digital, it's just electronic numbers. And unlike the analog ones of the cable, the digital ones, you can't spin them backwards, so people think, oh I don't have to worry about the odometer being rolled back on a modern digital car, but uh, that's the biggest myth on earth. It's actually easier on a digital ones to roll them back. On the analog ones, imagine sticking the drill in there, spinning it backwards, it would take forever even taking it apart, trying to jumble the numbers, that's a real pain in the butt. But with the digital ones, you can change it with a push of a button, unfortunately. There's electronic devices that unfortunately anybody can buy that set them back. Now I'm not going to show you the exact thing, because I am not going to help people roll back odometers and rip people off. But there's a picture on eBay of the machine that does it. And the machine is only 289 bucks with free shipping. So anybody who really wants to can set back an odometer. And you think, why on earth do they even make machines like this? Well, it's because of a technicality for mechanics only. Because here's what this machine is called. It's called a Car Odometer Correction Mileage Adjustment OBD2 Scanner Reset. It's for when an odometer breaks on a car, a mechanic replaces the odometer, and they want to set the odometer to the same mileage that the car has for honesty's sake, right? So in this case, it's an honest machine that's turned around and used for nefarious purposes to reprogram the mileage on a car. And believe me, a five-year-old couldn't figure out how to do it. It's not that complex. So what can you do to make sure the odometer on a car you're looking at is real? Well, there's a lot of things you can do. In the glove box for receipts, oil changes, repairs, whatever. See what the mileage is on them, right? And this is one time when I tell people stuff like Carfax is pretty good, because most Carfaxes can give you the state inspection data. And that state inspection data is going to tell you every year the mileage. So you should see every year the mileage goes up, right? If all of a sudden one year it was 110,000 and the next year it's 45, you know, the odometer's been messed around with. It's a pretty logical thing. Now in some states they don't allow this information and stuff like that, so you kind of SOL on that one. But most do. So you get a report like that. Look Look at the mileage to make sure, and you want that mileage information to make sure the mileage is real. But let's say you can't find any information like that. Then think logically, look at the tires. 
let's say it's got 25,000 miles of it. The tires are all worn and bald and stuff. That's a red flag. And look at the seats. I got seat covers here just because I like the way they look. But if you pull off the seat covers, the seats are all ripped and torn and worn out. And the steering wheel is all cracked. And the dash is all cracked. And everything is all worn out. And the armrest is all worn out. Then I wouldn't really believe that it's a low mileage car. And of course, when you take it on a road test, okay, if it's a low mileage car, it's not gonna clunk, it's not gonna bump, it's gonna shift good. If it clunks when it shifts, you corner and it clunks because the suspension's all worn out, it's not a low mileage vehicle then. Hey, a car shouldn't do that. When I put it in reverse, it shouldn't go clunk. There's a lot of reasons that you can tell that, hey, that's not the real mileage. And of course, another thing you want to see is the car's title. See what the mileage on the title is. You know, you find out, hey, the mileage on the title is different, right? You know it's been tampered with. Now, of course, a cheap sleaze, the way a lot of guys will do is they'll buy a whole dash assembly from a junkyard car and they'll put it in and they'll have low mileage. You can get these things sometimes used for 50 bucks. Anybody can pop them in and pop them out as long as it came out of the same car and will fit. So look around the dash. You see a bunch of cracks. It doesn't fit right. There's gaps. Maybe the chrome's broken and it looks suspicious. Start thinking they replaced the whole dash with a lower mileage odometer. And while you're in the car, get a flashlight, right? Look under at the pedals. Check the pedals out. Are they all worn out or are they smooth? Right? You can see this is worn a lit there because it's got 109,000 miles and it's 17 years old. If these are all faded and worn off or maybe they're even the rubber's gone, it's not a low mileage car. Look at this. You can go to this free odometer check. Vin History USA. We'll put our license plate number here. Well, now, unfortunately, they lied. It says you have to pay a dollar for the history report. They said it was free. Well, in this case, I'm not going to pay the dollar because it says that PayPal is temporarily unavailable. As is Amazon. They want your credit card number. And I'm not going to give them my credit card number. So you can forget this uh, Vin History USA free odometer check. It is not free. They are just flat out lying scumbags. If it had been a dollar, like it said, and I could have charged it through my PayPal account, I wouldn't care. They only get access to my PayPal account and I can stop payment on that. Nice security with PayPal, right? I am not giving them a credit card number. The company's a sleazebag. First they said the odometer check was free. Then they say well, they want a dollar, but ooh, unfortunately PayPal isn't temporarily available as Amazon is temporarily unavailable and the only way you can get to pay them the dollar is giving your credit card. I'm not messing with a company like this. They can go to Hades. There's other ways. Do Carfax. Do whatever. You know. But this particular company, stay away from them. They're trying to scam people. I mean, that's just disgusting. Now, another good example of checking for odometer fraud and really suspecting it is this. Demand to see the title of the car to see who is actually selling the car. If you find out that the car is being sold by the person who's not on the title of the car, be a real suspect. One, there's a lot of crooked deals going on when somebody's trying to sell a car that they don't own. Could be hot, stolen, could be all kinds of things. You're not going to trace it back to this guy once he's got your money. It's too bad right? But when someone is selling a car that's not in their name, they are going to be very suspect if it's a modern car using one of those little scanners that you plug into the dash, reset the odometer because it's not going to go back to him or her, right? So they don't care if they set the odometer back. You're never going to be able to catch them. I had that happen to a customer in Houston. They bought the car, brought it to me. I said, man, this thing's got at least 100,000 more miles than what it says, right? And what happened? They called the person up. The phone didn't even exist. It was a burner phone. They just got a burner phone. They sold the car. They threw it away. So be very, very suspect of a car that's being sold to you that the title is not in that person's name. They say it's their aunt's car, their uncle's car, or whatever. You find a deal like that, just get up and walk away. So now you know the truth about odometer fraud that it's actually easier to set the odometer back on a modern digital car than it ever was with these old analog ones where you had to spin them or take them apart. So now you know what you can do to avoid getting a car that has the odometer rolled back. Because even though you have legal recourse if you can prove it was rolled back, do you really want to deal with that crap? 
And in the case of my customer in Houston years ago, they couldn't even get a hold of the person they bought the car from. It wasn't their name on the title. It was a burner phone. They met them to buy it in a Sears parking lot. So hey, be leery when you're buying a used car at a mileage unless there's absolute positive proof. And I mean, you can get a Carfax thing on your phone like that that'll have most of the inspection reports. You can see if the mileage is real or not right away. So that's where you'd want to start if you have any questions at all about it. Don't think, oh no, these new digital ones, they can't hack them. Believe me, they can hack them as fast as you can snap your fingers. Let's all share this information so people can know what to do about it. And of course, most importantly, how to avoid all this nonsense in the first place. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.